all YouTube fans in the game. And now, now I thought I'd do this one. I remember doing it before. I thought, well, I do a lot of lids and other films and stuff like that. So why not this one? The Unholy. That's right, the Unholy. Last time I did it, my time they were working right, and I was doing this because I couldn't get a good signal. Look weird. <laughs> so I thought I'd do this one. Got a wipe the tap off my face. Yeah, I thought I'd do this one. The Unholy. In 1988, it's not a bad one. You've got a scene in it where it opens up and you've got this priest and he's praying and it's really, you've got this good looking woman. Now, normally I'm not really into redheads, no, that's the taste, I'm not really into redheads. But this one, bloody hell, she's stunning, she's got a blouse on, you can, you know, you can see her boobs, it's not nothing I don't like. But there's a tats in it. He tisses her. He says, no, 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 but she says it anyway. Top to tip feel. Next thing you know, she smiles. And next thing you know, he has his throat slit. She literally slits his throat. So there's a bit of a twist to this. And if you've never seen the unholy, I'll have to say spoilers near that at the end of the review. Because I don't want to spoil it. I really don't. But it is, again, it's a psychological, it's a suspenseful horror film. And I was about to say, you've got a priest as well. About to commit suicide, and another piece comes in trying to talk him out of it. Long below, they both fall, and you think they're both dead because it's, you know, it's an eye building, but they're not. A medical, medicals happen. They're both not dead, which I find very funny that they're both not dead. But there's a cane attest to that. So then the priest, who lucky enough survived, he goes and in, inherits the turrets. The turrets where the other original piece who had his fault slit and obviously dead. He takes over running that turrets. And that's when you start to get weird things happening. Now, remember when I was in suiting other films, like say like Titters 4, Owling 4, and I said, yeah, there were slow burns, but they were blood and boring, slow burns. This one isn't, and it's a slow burn other film because it teaches you. As I keep saying, it keeps you in jades. I say that again, it keeps you in jades. Because there's weird things on the way, the guy's having weird dreams. And he has a dog, right? He has a dog, which is the original beast. He, he gets up one day and finds the dog with its guts ripped out. So it's definitely doesn't all back in the blood and door department, but it's not too in your face. It's more, like I say, it's more of an expenseful, more of a psychological horror film. This one dirty in it who is helping from a night club and you know she's got problems on the way and she's got this stummy guy who's her ex-boyfriend who basically tries to con the piece saying oh I've been possessed and all this and you find it's just a con. You know what I mean? It's a con. But you know you've got weird things on the way, you're getting weird phone calls and so on. So this is where the twist is in the film, right? This is where the twist is in it and they call it the unholy. You meet a piece, right, who is blind there, he's blind, say that again, he's blind, and there's a reason why he's blind, because he was in other piece and he went blind. Now this is the bit where I'm going to tell five times, I'm going to say spoilers, because if you don't want the rest to be ruined, find a way of getting the film, DVD, and any other way, watch the film, and then get back to my review, and then you'll find out why I said spoilers. Right, one, two, three. Four, five, spoilers. The piece what's blind, right, met that beautiful woman, the one who's redhead. Apparently she's not a woman. She's not. She's a demon from hell, disguised as a beautiful woman. And if you touch her, tiss her, do anything sexual to her, she'll kill you. She'll literally rip your fucking tugler out. But if you ignore it, have faith in God and all that lids of stuff, you'll send it back to hell. But this is a bit what always strikes me, because there's no winning really when you think about it. You send it to hell, you will go blind. I'm not making this shit up. You will go blind the minute you send this demon back to where it belongs. So, fuck. Might as well have me totally ripped out. <laughs> but that's just me. Um, but at the end of the day, he's the chosen one to deal with the thing, what they call the unholy, which is a demon from hell. He meets that piece, the one who... Um, fell and didn't die and then he dies for some reason he dies and he melts his ducks come out and he vomits his blood his eyeballs bleed he dies the dies the stummy boyfriend he found on a toss with his intestines and ducks hanging out 
you know, even in the church before this, and you got you don't see it, but you see the aftersorts to what I've just said, ducks hanging out and intestines. So it definitely doesn't hold back on the blood and snot department. And again, you've got it fucking with him, he's having weird deems. You've got a cop on the way who's investigating these weird things, what had happened in. And you've got the girl who was in the nightclub. She comes on, you see a bit of tits, but you know, he's a priest, so he has to, to time that. But you've got the idea he has the hots for her. But being a priece, he can't take advantage. It's only his whole thing, all that. You know what I mean? It's like a satirist taking advantage of his patient, even as a even as the woman fancies him. Can't do it. It's it's a no no. As I say in my favourite other film, that's a no no. But at the end of the day, he's now been sent to deal with it. You know, he's been sent to deal with what they call the unholy. So. You've got steam, you've got that beautiful woman again, boobs, everything, really sexy night. Uh, she's really coming on to him. I mean, really coming on to him. You know what I mean? It doesn't work. It's has to in time. Um, so she disguises herself as the one who you've got that idea he fancies. He, suddenly she has her face. There's a bit we think he's going to tap her, you know, her breast. He's going to do it, going to do it. And say, don't do it, don't do it. And lucky enough, he suffers her away. So this evil demon from hell which disguised as a beautiful sexy woman just in the dirty looks he knows that it ain't working with him he's more holy than the only love he has is the man in the the man in the sty so you get these weird little demons good practical effects here actually these evil little demon monsters and they both nail his hands on on the wall and then that's when you see what it really looks like this beautiful red dead woman nice body really fit you get to see what it really looks like and believe me it ain't sexy and uh, she puts his things in his mouth and he's seen his weird visions. But out of luck, he outsmarts it, uses the Bible, sends his fucking thing back to hell where it belongs. And it's sort of a sad story, really, because he ends up blind. I shit you not, he ends up fucking blind. So he walks off with the woman and the film ends. So I don't feel the a bit of a downbeater there, you know what I mean? It's like, well, where was the winning, you know? He didn't touch her, so he didn't have his drug ripped out, but he sends it to hell, because really it was a demon from hell. And he ends up blind as a figging bat. But, you know, I don't like the unholy. It's psychological, it's suspenseful. It's a typical, expenseful, psychological horror film. You know what I mean? It's a typical, psychological other film which I like you know it's expenseful so for that because it's a tacit you know back in 1988 it's professionally see practical effects I'll give it a five star rating yeah I'll give it a five star rating because at the end of the day it's old school it's practical it's it's a slow burn basically it's a slow burn which doesn't which normally you don't see in other films. Nowadays, other films, it's boo-hoo, stairs, the slow, the the boring, the boar, the boar fest. This one was a slow burn in my eyes, which I felt paid off. I felt the film itself paid off. So that is The Hunholder, back in 1988, into then. Again, I'll give it to you again. Five-star rating, into then. I'll see you soon.